welcome back to the present what a fantastic victory in the champions league yesterday against rc long six zero six different goal scorers we're doing well in the premier remember the decisions questions the opposition fans were asking oh how will arsenal fare in the champions league premier league can they survive it can that combine those two competitions we will not be fatigued out we will not will be, we will not be able to actually cope combine those two competitions to ask those questions is to answer it let me tell you how arsenal is faring right you can see right there right after 13 games in premier league we are top of the power top of the english premiership i'm not sure you're going to win at the moment but it's looking great 13 games played in premier league nine wins three draws one loss 30 points we're doing well right so we've answered the premier league question how are we going to combine it with champions now let's go to the champions league uh group b we've played five games four wins zero drill draw one loss 12 points we've won the group with one game to spare, regardless of the result in the last game against PSV away in Holland, we have won the group. It's to answer to, to ask the question is to answer it. So what more? What more do I have to say? Regardless of party out, timber out, Smithro, Fabi Vera out, uh the 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 chopping and changing due to injuries of uh Gabriel Jesus not playing all the games. In the, in the 13 games we played in the Premier League, Saka has been out for one or two games, Martinelli has been out for four games. Yet, yet, we are still top of the power. They say we are not scoring enough goals. Uh, Martinelli and Saka and Jesus, they've dropped uh, their form. Can they, can they replicate what they did last season? We answered the question yesterday. Provided most of the English Premiership teams do not play low blocks. You see, when they play low blocks, it's harder to score two, three, five goals, right? So we have to find a way to win, and we are still winning. But when teams decide to come outside, like likes of PSV did, the likes of Sevilla did, and the likes of uh, Arsenal did, come outside and play, then we'll answer the question whether we can score goals or not. So this nonsense being pushed by the likes of Jimmy Carragher or Night, Night Football saying, oh, Arsenal has not scoring enough goals, he's doubting the credentials of Arsenal. In his opinion, is allowed to doubt the credentials of whether we can win the league, whether we can score enough goals. But the empirical evidence is some, something to why, right? So, fantastic victory, both domestically and, and in, in Europe. Next is Wolves. We play Wolves at the weekend. We know Wolves are a sneaky team. Now, let's look at the form of Wolves in recent times, right? Now, uh, that is Wolves. Uh, in the last five games of us now, we've won three, drawn one and lost one, unfortunately. They've lost one. Uh, Wolves out here wonder us. They've won just two. They've lost two and drawn one. On the table, like I said earlier, Arsenal top of the pile, leading. Uh, after 13 games, we have 30 points, nine victories, uh, three draws and one loss. Wolves have played 13 games, four wins, three losses and six draws. They are 15th on the table. So, Wolves are not, not, not Minos. Yes, they, are, they struggle with scoring a lot of goals, which I understand. They struggle with scoring a lot of goals, but they have decent player. We have Konya. Uh, we have Korean guy, <laughs> the Young. I, I don't think Neto will be fit for this game. He is out with that hamstring injury, so that's the, that's the, uh, one of their uh, outlets of creating goals and scoring goals. So it's out for that game. So regardless of how, I think Lemina is suspended for this match. Two of two of the Mitchell, Domita and Gomez, two of your key Mitchell are suspended due to accumulation of yellow cards. So it should be a straightforward victory for us now. Football can be a very tricky customer, a very tricky uh sports uh, on 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 its day but if we apply ourselves we've been applying ourselves we take the game very seriously and professionally come on wolves are no match for us wolves have they they are no match defensively offensively they are no match we have better midfield better defense a better attack than wolves and better manager guy only have done a fantastic job with the wolves uh team we know they play good football but in terms of scoring they struggle to score so if we can limit them, make sure we do not give silly chances away, make sure we are not uh, complacent. There is no way we shall be beating Wolves at the Emirate on Saturday. I know we played yesterday on Wednesday. We are playing on Saturday, barely 72 hours. The boys should have rested at least for, for that. I think they might have a rest today, then train tomorrow, then we'll play on Saturday. It is what it is. That elite sport, you have to make sure you take care of yourself. I'm sure the celebrations of, of uh, the 6 0 victory against Lons are stopped after the, the whistle is up to the next one. 
On to the next one. We cannot afford to take goals lightly. Yes, they are struggling in 15th position. We cannot afford to take them like that. And I think we'll beat them emphatically. I am very confident these boys will not take that game lightly. I'm very confident they know the tax as hand. They, we need to win the Premier League. So let me know what you think in the comment section regarding the, the Wolves game. Do you think uh, it's going to be a big down? Do you think the low blows are going to come back, which most of the English Premiership, Premiership clubs have been applying when they play against us? So I, I think Wolves might not necessarily play a low block. Uh, they right play the counter attack. Uh, let's see. We can split the spaces be between the lines. We know Toya Kimichuda, Lemina, and Gomez are out. Uh, but they still have the same players. Kunya is not a little striker. We know Saliba and Gabriel take care of Kunya comfortably. And they, they have those other tall six, seven tall uh a striker again rank will normally come into the game second half. We should have to take care of those uh those guys easily. So let me know what you can think in the comment section. I think we'll win this game comfortably. I think we'll score more. I think we'll score more than one goal. But I'll not be shocked if we we'll decide to do what other teams have been doing. They really go very low block and very deep and very defensive. But I'm very sure we will find a way to get a victory. So guys, do me that favor as we wind down on this um, uh, pre-recorded stream like the video very, very important subscribe and subscribe and do not forget to turn on your notification bell very very important so guys let me know what you think about the wolves game which you play on today uh, the score line and your man of the match in the comment section and i'll see you guys on the next one bye for now